Hey guys, it's another mod for the next gen Ranger. Featuring. <laughs> it's Rowan, he's back. How you going? Good, so hey guys, um, you might recall Rowan and I doing some videos um, last year and in previous videos. So today's a bit of a difference. Um, behind us is the new next gen Ranger. And we're gonna do something with this thing here. It's called a tailgate, so. So what, what are we actually doing? What are we putting in there? What are we putting in there? All right, so as it currently stands, Target's pretty much dead space, so it forms pretty much, uh, you know, a barrier to stop things coming out of your, your vehicle, and that's about it. Looks like a bit of a waste of space. I reckon you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a company called um, Hurricane Fabrication, and they do some target storage solutions, which sort of convert this dead space that you see in front of you into something that's useful. Um, they do them for the PX Ranger, and had a conversation, and they actually have a prototype for the next gen Ranger. Uh, we're gonna be the first in Australia to install this today, which is really cool. And I've got my good friend uh, Rowan here to help. Um, I trust him a little bit more on the tools than myself, so if I'm honest. Uh, but it should be good. Uh, we're going to go through all the steps to install it, and um, yeah, it should be fun. It should be good. Awesome. So we're going to open this up, show them what's inside. Yep. And uh, go from there, I suppose. Sounds good. So first of all, we have to figure out the instructions. All right, so the tools we're gonna to need for today. You will need an angle grinder, a metal file, a Phillips head and flat blade screwdriver, H3 hex bit, drill, spanners, permanent Loctite being the red stuff, Sikaflex 227, that's what we're using, although they recommend 252, touch up paint and appropriate personal protective equipment. All right, Mark, unbox your new toy, mate. Unbox. Trust me on this video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. that's right, you're my apprentice. Yeah. There you go. Shiny. So we've just opened it up. Inside, we've got the template. Is that a light? Looks like it. That is cool. <laughs> Mark's now a cool kid. There you go. Thank you to Hurricane Fab. We've got the new rods. These are used so you can still open the tailgate because it's kind of important. Don't know what's in the package yet. Ah, I do know what's in the package, I believe. Okay. Some keys. Before we get going, we've got to remove the tub liner that's there. That involves, we've got some Torx bit screws. So we're going to unscrew those and then we can get on to the area underneath. There's a little bit of a adhesive underneath there, so you've just got to push that up. Okay, our tub liner is out. So once the tub liner is out, there's four more screws that need to be removed, um, and then we can get access. There we go. Now we have access to all the inside of the tailgate. Okay, so the next step is laying out the template. The template was supplied in the box, actually really nicely presented in there. Um, we've got the template now, we've got to carefully remove that template. The plan is to stick it, it's laser cut. Laser cut. Wow, okay, <laughs> sounds impressive. <laughs> we're gonna lay it down, we're gonna tape it into position before we get out any of the sharp stuff, eh? Hey? Yes. Yeah. And then we're gonna mark the template. Once we've marked it, we can remove the template. Then we know exactly where we need to cut, file, grind, 
do all the rest. So now it's the tedious part. This is that some there's some saying isn't there around preparation or something? Yeah. Measure three times cut. Yes. <laughs> Right, so we've got the template in place here. We've had to put some white tape down to mark because, um, yeah, black on black doesn't go too well. And apprentice mark here is currently filling in the rest of it. Probably that blue, the blue duct tape would probably be best, wouldn't it? Yes. Um, we've made the cloth tape work. Because we have misplaced the masking tape, but this will work. This will work if you're really keen, you can use spray paint. Yep. And you can just mask everything else up put like a piece of cardboard along the side here and just give it a coat of white paint then you know exactly what you got to remove and we will have to remove these actuator rods in a little bit and you've got to be also careful of the ribbing and support underneath this panel here so the purpose of these little squares here i'm 90 percent sure are for the screws in the side and the nuts because that's where they're gonna drop through. Okay, so behind me, we've now removed the template, uh, but you can see the outer markings. So that gives us our line when we get the uh, grinder out in a minute. All right, here the uh, fun stuff again, so. Wish us luck. <laughs> see you on the other side. <laughs> Just added some tape there, so just to stop those cables getting in their way. There you go. That's a uh, milestone. <laughs> Send you along there, do that, do the back. The back you always do last. Okay, is there a reason for back last? So the back we do last because then, <laughs> because then <laughs> when it comes time to drilling or breaking the spot, the spot welds, we can fold the panel up to see if there's any we missed. So uh, the sheet metal will become malleable at that point. Yeah, gotcha. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. We can't change our mind now, can we? Uh... <laughs> Second piece. <laughs> and I'm not on fire. That's, that's a good, good start. I just don't want to hit the, wind, the rear window. All right. Sparks on windows embeds into it. Right. And then it will rust and it will shatter the window. Okay. So, tip for players at home. All right, so in here you've got these two ribs. There's also more supportive structure back. It's only like anti-vibration foam it's not super supportive but it just stops things rattling anyways this first one all i'm doing is pulling up and out and it's there not very thick yep so yep. especially once you start cutting um i'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with this second one yet but at the moment we've cut up to the back line for each one so what i think we're going to do is uh, I'll try and pull it up, but I don't know how much success I'm going to have because this is all still pretty strong. 
Um, we're gonna see what we can do. And if it comes up, it comes up. Uh, if it does, it'll try and crease along this line, but there's supportive ribbing there, so it may not work. Um, otherwise, we'll cut it, try again, and we'll just keep going until we figure it out. So what we've run into is the inside ribbing is actually secured to the side of the tailgate as well as the top, which bodes a problem. So what I'm doing now is going through and just center punching these spot welds. And I've got a spot weld drill bit. You can just drill through them with a bigger drill bit. If my spot weld drill bit doesn't work very well, that's what we're gonna do. Um, but we're gonna try and do it the right way and see how we go and see if we can separate it. Yeah, and I guess you were saying you could literally just drill across and try to remove the piece, but this will allow us to have access to this sort of support brace underneath, yes. won't it? So yeah, this support brace we were hoping was just gonna be able to lift off, but it is secured at the side as well, so we're gonna have to cut through it. Yep. So that's gonna be fun, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to <laughs> it. So, we've drilled out the spot welds, and I was really hoping that would pry up off the supporting piece, but it hasn't. So I have a feeling they've put panel bond between them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Either way, what we're gonna do now, we've just put some cardboard in as protection here. We're gonna cut this back edge, and then pretty much reassess the situation, see what we're working with. At worst, we can cut this panel into tiny little pieces and start pulling it out. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's grinning behind the camera. Um, yeah, we're gonna cut it into as many pieces as we need to, pull it out, see what we're working with, and pretty much we're flying blind at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, ma the manual, they do provide some directions, which is good, but the obviously cutting bit, you know, we are the first to do it. So um, yeah. there's obviously some learnings that we'll pick up here and that will make your life a bit easier when it comes to installing. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the only thing holding this middle section in now is that support bracket. So now I can sort of maneuver around and yeah. play a bit, see what we're working with. So Try out one of those glasses, man. <laughs> those gloves. I'm a man who doesn't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> All right, so Rowan has been able to maneuver it off. It was uh, tacked on with this sort of panel adhesive, but it was absolutely like, well, what would you say? It's like it was welded oh, on, horrible. basically. It was just... It has a spot weld, but then it's like a chemical weld as well. Yeah, it's like... so it's really, really hard to get off. So... so. <laughs> Steel is now banana. Yeah, but we've got it off, so that's good. Look how strong I am, Mark. <laughs> It's light, it's quite light, isn't it? What are we doing here? All right, so as per every bolting job, um, it never goes to plan. We've got this top layer off, so we managed to get all that panel crap off. Got it all off, used an ax, most best tool in the world. <laughs> Anyways, we've got the power file here, power sander, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Um, what we're going to do is there's two spot welds on each side of this supporting bracket that go to the outside of the tailgate. Now we don't want to drill them out because we don't want holes in the side of the tailgate and I don't want to bring the weld around. So we've got a power file and I'm just going to go in there. I've got a proper metal belt on it as well. We're just going to knock the heads off those spot welds to the point we can break this loose. Once that's broken free, we're going to cut a slot down here each side just so we can get the wire out because we want to be lazy and cheat it. And then we can pull this whole support out. Bob's your nana, it's all sorted. Then we can cut this final line back properly to how I was supposed to the first time, but I sort of just started going. And yeah, 
Sounds so good. We've got a game plan. We've got a game plan, yep. Alright. All the tools. <laughs> Hey, you did it. <laughs> Minimal injuries. Nobody died. No. Wow, that was uh, a bit more involved, wasn't it? Well, now we should be on the home stretch, I think. We'll give this a clean up. What I'll do before we clean anything, I'm going to make that final cut. I'm going to go around with a power file, clean it up. Then we'll give it a clean up, and then we can start test fitting. Once we start test fitting, we're still going to have to make some probably just make some trimming. Yeah. That's what we've got a flat disc and grinder for. Yep. And then we'll clean it up again. Once it's test fitted, it's in there, then we'll do a final clean up. We can start with uh, rust prevention and stuff like that. Yep. Um, That's the, the hard so work. So for those playing at home, oh, now it's stiff. These are the spot welds that go into the side of the tailgate, which you, you don't want to drill from the outside. So what I've done, I've used the power file this bad boy here, because it's got a long reach, we can get in there, and I've just sort of whittled away at it until the point we can break these free. Um, it's not the cleanest job, but hey, it does the trick. Does the job, You're yeah. not going to be jamming your fingers in there, no. so you don't have to worry about that. No. You do have to worry about these sharp edges. <laughs> yeah, and obviously the bottom was just held on by this sort of it's, adhesive. It's like not even an adhesive, it's more just like a, a foamy yeah. paste. It was still quite strong though, wasn't it? So like quite a strong bond. Like it's, it's like more of an insulation thing, I think, but yeah, it does also have adhesive properties. Um, either way, the biggest key point, probably put this at the start of the video, if you remember, the biggest key point is when you're playing in the tailgate, don't drop anything, don't punch it, don't be angry with it, because this skin here that we're working with now is the actual skin of the tailgate. Yeah, this is the outside. This is so what you see on the I, outside. If yep. I was to punch it, Mark's going to have punch marks on the outside of the tailgate. If, if people are going to think he's got somebody trapped in the back, or <laughs> I don't know. But either way, uh, don't mess around with that. Try not to drop stuff on it. Try to be as delicate as you can, because that is the tailgate. That's where the dents will show. So here, yeah. you don't have to worry. No. But just be yeah. careful and mindful. Just be careful. Yeah, so even when you're prying it, just, just do it with a bit of... Uh, control right yeah so don't yeah don't go whacking on it and heaving on it because uh yeah it's a delicate sheet metal yep that being said though it makes it super easy to repair yes that's Paint true dent repair on the back that is true done all right all right let's do it So we've cut some bits and bobs, we've cut some slots, there, there, here, here, I've cut one here, we missed one over there, but we can go back and do that, that's the beauty. Uh, we're about to pull these rods out, once the rods are out the way I can bring the grinder in and cut these slots here, and then we can start trying to test it. Test it, yeah, great. Just going to use a screwdriver. All I'm doing is prying this little tab out. And then it pops up and out. Beautiful. Rod pops up. Okay. That's then you're sweet. That's fine on that one. All right. So following the instructions, we've gone through steps one, two, and three with the cutouts. And we're now basically dealing with this mechanism here in the middle is the lock. So the factory release rods will be replaced uh, with some that are part of the kit. No, I can't play any other tune. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. 
Hey. Almost played a tune then. So we're just saying, weren't we? Um, there would, there is another option to remove those, but it requires messing with the locks, doesn't it? Sort of. Yeah. So you, the better way to do it would be to remove the locks entirely, but we don't have the tooling at the moment. Yeah, it requires so. one of those big torque spit uh, tools. Goes in there. So we've done the cut, and we're going to put the, the new ones in. Yeah, and we, we don't need the stock rods. No. So no. We don't plan on using. It. If we did, we can make new ones. To exactly. Hard. So yeah, now we can. Do the rest of our couple couple more cuts to yep. go. Uh, Give it a clean up. Here, clean up, and then we should be test fitting. Yes. <laughs> Taking longer than you thought, isn't it? So Rowan's trusted me with the power tool now, so it's my turn. So let's give it a clean out. There you go. So we're just uh, testing the tail rod poles at the moment. Now they're actually two different sizes, so we're just sort of seeing which one sits at which end. And you would notice there's a little bit of paint here, so that's where the uh, adhesive or the foam glue was before. So we've just um, scraped that off and put some uh, paint on to make sure that doesn't rust. So we've got it just resting in here at the moment. Um, it doesn't have to be set solid yet. There's still a bit of movement in there, which is fine. So now we're just torquing these rods up or tightening them up, and then we can get the tension on the rods set. Once that's set, we can pull this out for the last time, put a layer of sealant around it, drop it back in, drill the holes, pop rivet it. And we're done. And we're done. Oh, we're done. Hey! Bit of a process, but... Ah, uh, be right. But it's good. Right, so we've just tensioned the rods up at the moment, very basically. We've got it so that they release. Um, the way you lock them in, run a screwdriver just down here. That's locked in. Do that for both sides, like so. Then pull the lever and they should both release. Uh, we've got it so it releases at the moment, but it's almost at the end of the handle throw. So we're gonna tighten them up a bit more, put a bit more tension on. So pretty much they're released. So all I'm going to do is push the rod in a bit. You can do this by your finger, so we're going to put Loctite on it in a bit. But you push the rod in a bit, just tighten that, so that socket a little bit more. Put a bit more tension on it. Same with this other one. Like so. And retest. This is all trial and error, and then now we can see that's about halfway now when it's releasing. So now that we've got where pretty much we need it, we can back the nuts off, put a, just a dab of Loctite on it, screw them back up, retest them, set. So the apprentice is back on the tools. We've just got him running a bead of the sicker around this, then we're going to flip it back over, hopefully not stick our hands in it and then we can start drilling it and pop riveting it down. Yeah, 
Yep, so we've got some five mil holes here that need to be drilled in and we've got a, the pot rivet gun. So once this is in, it ain't moving. It ain't coming out whether it needs to or not. <laughs> the first pot rivet going in. There you go. So Rowan was just saying, always start in the center. Start in the center. Work your way out, that way you're not chasing it one direction and then it ends up all skewy. <laughs> Final step of this, we'll put some Loctite on it. Okay. And send it. So we've already pre-adjusted these so they, they do work, but uh, the final step them. is the Loctite. So we've got the Loctite 263 here. There's a few other versions they do, but this will be fine. Um, they actually have a nylon thread on them anyway, but this is just like an extra measure, isn't it? Yes. Just extra precaution, so we're just gonna retest it again. Very close. We need to tighten it a little bit anyway, so yep. before I do that, I'm just going to push the rod in by hand. Mm -hmm. It exposes more thread. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on it, tighten it up. Bob your uncle. That's set. So the next step is a little box that covers the mechanism for the lock. Um, just use the supplied bolts to screw that in. So our tools of the trade here today. So to get us going, we need an angle grinder, a metal file, Philip. I might start that again. Philip, Philip, Philip. So we've got our tools of the trade for today's job. So to get this done, we need a ankle grinder, ankle. Recording. Uh, That's like there's four gig you won't use. Yeah. What's that? Do you know what that was? Ah. Oh. That's the uh self destruct mechanism. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh red dirt that came out. Thought he cleaned your car, eh? I just realised we spent all the time getting the shavings to add more shavings to <laughs> 